Okay, this is one of those videos that's hard to make. Because when you're talking about backpacks, you know, you're talking about body sizes. So it's kind of like recommending the best underwear. Well, unfortunately, that's obviously subjective because there's like 10 million body shapes and sizes, right? Uh, <laughs> like, the underwear that fits you might not be comfortable for somebody else with a gigantic hot dog or something. <laughs> I'll edit that out later. <laughs> these are my favorites, and these are available in different sizes, but I got, I got this fetish for camera bags. Not really a fetish. It is a fetish. I got way too many of them. I think I've tried all the popular ones, and these are my three favorite. This one, I've got a few of them. It's a flip side 300. I actually can't explain to you why this one is so great. And the build quality, actually the way it packs and distributes the weight. And uh, the size is absolutely perfect. This is uh, made by Low Pro. It's called the flip side 300. I, it's inexplicable how much I absolutely love this thing. I pack it everywhere with me. I got one that's seen an enormous amount of abuse. Absolutely, probably my favorite backpack of all of them. I've tried a lot of them. This is also the perfect size. It'll hold everything other than a medium format camera and hold a regular DSLR with a vertical grip and a few lenses and other odds and ends. That's it, the flip side 300. Now this one is available in a lot of different sizes. This is the most comfortable. This is kind of like wearing Lycra spandex underwear. <laughs> it's so comfortable to pack around. It doesn't bite into your shoulder. Really ingenious. A lot of people love this thing. It's a think tank. Now they make this in, like I said, a lot of different sizes, but they're all just as comfy. This one is a retrospective 7, size-wise. Oh my god. You know those like pair of blue jeans that have like been washed 30 times? And, you know, they're just... They're so comfortable. It's like you're not wearing anything at all. That's what this bag is like. <laughs> Um, I can't remember, it was four or five sizes on the retrospective. You could also silence these and bring the Velcro down and make it uh, silent so you're not actually causing any noise when you open up the top flap. That's uh, doable as well. Love it. Definitely my favorite bag, period. Including, you know, you see this really expensive one behind me here? Yeah. Really expensive? Yeah, not even close to my favorite. Not really expensive. This one actually has the most ingenious design, and this is available in two sizes. This is the also low pro. It's called the Slingshot Slingshot Edge 150AW, 150AW. It's also available in a 250AW, and I gave that away in a photo contest about a year ago. My God, I love this thing. The way it distributes the weight, how it actually holds things, it's actually a really ingenious design. Um, there's actually nothing else like this. As so far as a quick day pack backpack that'll hold a few lenses and a camera, this would be perfect for holding a Fuji and three lenses and a speed light and some other little doodad crap. Absolutely love this thing. Love it. I thought about getting the larger one, but I don't really need it. When I said they do make one, it's about 75% as large as the 250AW. A lot of people ask me to make this video. And uh, I'm actually hesitant to always make videos like this since, like I said, it's like re recommending underwear. You know, body shapes and sizes and what's comfortable to you is uh, extremely subjective. But uh, I can't imagine anybody being unhappy with either of three of these choices. And these are my three favorite ch choices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love this pack. When I first got it, I couldn't believe how comfortable it was. And the pack stuck around. I wonder if I actually have anything left in this one. Yeah, some doodads. Right now, I'm speculating. I'm getting over a really bad flu that, like, basically murdered me. It feels like it murdered me, anyway. That and a, a caustic relationship. An abusive caustic relationship. I'm never the abusive one. The other party was the abusive one. How do you like this? This is like my fireside chat. Like it? Someone's gonna complain. Someone's gonna, why you got a fake fire burning in your video? Someone's gonna ask me a really dumb question like that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Bye.